Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Alicia and in today's video, I'm showing you several meals that I prepared while on vacation in our Airbnbs that we rented for several days. Some easy breakfasts, quick lunches, and two simple dinners. So if you're looking for meals to make while on vacation with your family, just keep on watching. Our very first vacation meal is actually a very uncomplicated meal that I made at home before leaving on our road trip to Muir Woods, and that's a basic yet satisfying picnic lunch. We were going to be taking a longer hike with our three kids and knew we would be ravishing by lunchtime and we definitely were. It took us a little over an hour to get to the picnic spot going uphill and by the time we got there, we were ready to chow down. I packed a PB&J for the kids, ham and cheese for me and my husband, some chips, strawberries and cookies and there was really nothing left. I packed all of this in one of my favorite cooler tote bags. I'll post one similar to what I use in the description box but it kept everything really cold and fresh for our four-ish hour drive plus our hike. So let's get in with our first official in-home meal and that's the easiest and yummiest breakfast ever, a baked creme brulee French toast bake. I make this all the time. It's something that's foolproof and that everyone truly enjoys. The actual recipe will be posted down in a link below for you guys if you're interested in that. I basically made it the night before we left our trip and used it not the following morning but the morning after so the milk and egg mixture really had an opportunity to set for a long time. I think it's set for like 30 hours or something. It's the longest I've ever let it sit like that before, but oh my gosh, it was seriously the best. So I laid everything out yesterday whenever we got to the house just to, we're not made, not be using all the stuff, but I didn't want her to break anything that was in the bag. So everything is laid out here and then in the fridge. I'll just show you like the situation, how we have it all going on. So I have all of this ready to go. I think we're gonna have this um, chicken enchilada casserole that I made two nights ago. We're gonna have that for dinner tonight, but I have all of my just stuff in here, yogurts, and then the condiments. I ended up doing this for our like sandwiches and wraps. There's some mustard right there, mayo in here. And then I have some syrup over here, maple syrup. This is gonna be used for two days for the French toast today and then for waffles another morning. And then in the freezer, I do have some more bottled waters because that's how we were kind of keeping everything cold when we were moving from um, our hometown to up here. And then the waffles and then I have ground beef and I'm gonna defrost this probably tomorrow so that we can have um, meatballs with linguine and marinara sauce. Going back to the creme brulee French toast, if you're looking for something like this to make at home before going on a trip, make it all in a foil pan so that cleanup is very, very minimal. I paired this with some fresh blueberries and strawberries and some delicious Black Forest bacon that I got from my Trader Joe's haul. The view from our breakfast table is seriously so incredible. You can't really see it, but the ocean is quite visible from the windows. They had really large windows in this Airbnb, which was so beautiful. It was really, really cold and overcast, but there was a few times where we got great glimpses of the ocean. But this was our favorite thing to do was to sit down at this table and have a meal together. that little girl right there is my almost two-year-old daughter. She has some manners. She could say thank you, but she's still very mean. She apparently did not like the way that I cleaned off the table, so she took it upon herself to wipe down her spot. After breakfast, we kind of just hung around the house, relaxed, cleaned up a bit, and then it was time for another meal. So what we decided to do this time was to make another picnic lunch because we actually really enjoyed taking our food out into nature whenever possible. And so I made us some more sandwiches, brought some more chips, fruit, and cookies with us, and we posted up in a really, really nice spot in Bodega Bay. 
I believe the actual beach though within Bodega Bay, it was called Wright's Beach. It had some great picnic spots. You do have to pay for parking there. I think it was like $8 or something, but there is lovely picnic tables all over. They're kind of spread out too, if you go onto the beach, like past the campground area. So it was really nice to be able to do that and watch the waves. I do not recommend going into those waves. They looked very, very scary. There were even signs posted around um, warning people to not swim. They j it just looked very rough and like just overall scary, but it was still beautiful to look at from afar. What I've learned over the years with having kids is always keep like a couple of smaller-ish blankets in the car. I do have a picnic blanket in the car as well, but I could not find it. But these small blankets make for great tablecloths or just to sit on if you're at the beach or at a playground or a camp or something, just to sit on and doesn't you don't mind it getting dirty. So I have a couple of these blankets in my car already, but you can see we draped it over the tablecloth because it was kind of filled with like bird poop and sand and whatnot. But of course that's kind of what you expect when you go to a beach but we had some wine it was really nice just to sit out there and it wasn't too cold it was actually perfect Having picnics outside, in my opinion, is just so, so nice. It's nice to not have to be like in front of electronics all the time, in front of like TVs or computers. It's just nice to be sitting outside with your loved ones and enjoying some very basic food. Like I said, this is the same, basically the same picnic that I brought to our Muir Woods picnic, but it still filled us up and we were all very happy with it. My poor husband, at one point, he knocked over his wine and my son, my younger son, Quentin, he said this to him. <laughs> Quentin told him that, that's what you're doing, old man. <laughs> he did say that. <laughs> <laughs> this next meal for dinner actually made the perfect dinner because we were out all day exploring we were driving around getting out of our car doing smaller trails so coming home and just having to throw this in the oven was perfect it was literally the perfect meal and this is a salsa verde um, enchilada casserole in a what's for dinner video i have i've done a skillet version of of this recipe but this one was way way easier in which it made had less ingredients but I just put it all together in a foil pan and had some like grated cheese on top. I warmed it up in the oven. I paired it with some green beans and some fruit. Honestly, it came together in 20 minutes because it was just heating up. That's all it was doing basically. So this made the perfect vacation house meal. This next meal had to be very simple and fast because our checkout was early. So it is egg sausage toast and fruit. It is honestly just one of those classic breakfasts that I think everyone just really enjoys having. And so this was actually the best breakfast to have this day. Our checkout was actually at 10 a.m. That was the only downfall to this Airbnb. It was a beautiful Airbnb, but the checkout was 10. I could not believe it I, and I messed up on my part. But so I had to hurry up and make breakfast before we could leave but it came together very very fast especially because it's nothing new that I had to make it was just something I pretty much do all the time the only thing I regret not bringing was I did bring the cast iron skillet but I do regret not bringing another like non skit stick skillet a non stick skillet with me because sometimes they provide skillets that aren't great for meals that you make. So for instance, I could not find a small little skillet for eggs. I could, they had nothing, they just had a pot. And so we kind of wasted some of the eggs. They were like sticking a little bit, but I was able to get a lot of it up. So next time I'm gonna be bringing another skillet too. Oh, 
After breakfast, we cleaned up really quick, packed very fast, and we're out of the house by 10 and moved on to our next Airbnb, which was only about 20 minutes away. But my goodness, what an environment change it was. This is probably our favorite place to be. We want to come back very, very soon. This was in Occidental, California, and it was just pure like foresty wooded area. It was so beautiful. The cabin itself was just amazing. I wish I could own something like this one day, but for now we could just rent it and enjoy it. And my goodness, do I miss it. It's So the nice thing about the early checkout was that our next Airbnb, he allowed us to check in early, which was so perfect. Like honestly, it worked out so well. So I cannot complain about that, that early checkout. So by the time we unloaded, unpacked, got a little bit comfortable, it was already time for lunch. And I decided to switch it up with the sandwiches and make some wraps. I love doing wraps. My kids love wraps. I have a lunchbox video for my kids for their school lunches. This is one of their favorites. Well, I should say their second favorite after peanut butter and jelly. This is what they request if they can't have peanut butter and jelly. They enjoy the variety that can go in wraps, the different cheeses, the meats, the toppings, the condiments even. Sometimes my oldest enjoys like a spicy mustard. So it's kind of nice to experiment um, in that sense with these wraps. So I made several of those for our lunches along with just more chips and some cucumbers. The last dinner that we had for our trip was something that was more labor intensive. However, it was very relaxing to make. It was some linguine and meatballs. And what happened was my husband ended up taking the kids outside because the Airbnb has a couple of trails behind the house and a trampoline for the kids to jump on. So he ended up taking them outside. I just got in my zone, made some meatballs, listened to some music, had some wine. It was so relaxing and so nice. There wasn't like a TV nearby or anything so this worked out perfectly and what I did was to make it a little bit more homemade was I made my own little seasoning packet to bring along with me and it included some garlic powder onion powder parsley flakes oregano I believe there was some rosemary in there too and thyme and basil too so it was like a whole Italian seasoning going on and that is what I used for the meatballs but other than that it was just the meat the seasoning packet the linguine, the Reyes marinara sauce, and then some Parmesan cheese to grate over top. So with very few ingredients, I made a great, wonderful, hearty, homemade meal right inside our Airbnb kitchen. And I loved all of these meals. All these meals turned out so great for us because it saved us so much money. We didn't have to think about what we were gonna be eating for breakfast or lunch, trying to find places, get everybody gathered up and ready. So it was just so nice to be able to relax and chill at these homes and really make use of our time at these homes that we're renting. So I highly recommend doing this if you do rent like a vacation rental or Airbnb or through Vacasa or whoever you go through definitely bring some meals with you utilize that kitchen that you're given it is just so worth it I'm sorry for the times I forget what it was like living life like a silhouette Tracing the light and ignore what's inside Till you came into my life Sometimes 
Sometimes I see it all so clear. You are the reason. I just wanted to take the time right now to thank all of you that decided to click on this video and watch it. I really, really appreciate that. I love making these videos and it's really nice to be able to talk to you guys in the comments. So leave me a comment down below of what meal you would like to bring with you on your vacations or is there a meal that you take that I should try bringing with us next time? I keep my head up towards the sky and look for you like a satellite. When things go wrong and I'm out of touch, you always find a way to send me love and lose in you. After our yummy dinner, we decided to open up the s'mores kit that I got from Costco and it was the perfect dessert to our spaghetti, or I should say linguine, and roasting up the s'mores inside the house was just such a nice touch. I couldn't help. The next morning was our first official breakfast in the house and I decided to make some breakfast burritos with some roasted potatoes. I don't get the chance to make it that often because potatoes can take a long time, but I diced up the potatoes pretty finely so that they would cook quicker. And as you can see here, I used the last of the eggs, which ended up being perfect for us because it does take about nine to 10 eggs for our family if we have eggs in the morning. So we were done with the eggs after this and I should have thought about it, but I should have included some cheese on these burritos. I had the cheese already, I should have just used it, but oh well. I was trying to just make a variety of different breakfast so none of us would get bored although honestly my kids and me too I could eat eggs and bacon every day but I love switching it up every once in a while so I loved having all of these ingredients on hand the heavy cream I was also able to use for my coffee so a lot of these ingredients like had double jobs so like the bread for the sandwiches was also toast or the tortillas for the wraps were also for our burritos so I try to make sure that everything had its job that we could use twice for. That was also the last of the bacon too. What was great was that the more like things that we were eating, obviously there would be more room in the cooler for things to bring home because our car was packed to the max. And so whenever um, we were able to clean out the cooler, we were able to just kind of like put other things inside that cooler. So I loved being able to do that. It was nice to be able to eat this food, bring it with us and eat it and not waste this food that would just been sitting in our fridge not being eaten so this worked out great for us i have my potatoes browning up pretty nicely and my bacon going i have some hot water back here for some more coffee i already had some coffee this morning i love this stove i love this kitchen it is seriously so cute i wish i could just live here forever that window is my favorite little window it reminds me of like snow white like cottage window like looking out here so so pretty so once that bacon is done i'm gonna use a little bit of that grease to cook my eggs and then i have some tortillas already i just need to warm up and then i'm gonna cut up some strawberries for sides and that's pretty much it and this is gonna be our anniversary breakfast today is our actual anniversary so happy anniversary to us all right i drained off most of the grease that's in here there's hardly anything in here so i'm just gonna pour my eggs in here and pretty much it'll all be ready i just need to heat up those tortillas now I see we were meant to be. 
for the breakfast burritos, I would lay a slice of bacon down, put some eggs and potato over top and roll it up. I forgot to bring the hot sauce. That is like one of our main things that we love eating with these burritos, but that's okay. We made do with it. And then for that evening, we ended up going out to dinner for our anniversary dinner at a local place. It was so delicious and a nice like change. And then later that night, we made a charcuterie platter. I bought all the meats and I had cheese, crackers, some more wine because we're in Sonoma County. So there's a lots of good Pinot Noirs to be had there. So it was just such a lovely evening. Take me back to when we were kids and didn't care if we were acting stupid. Ugh, and this was our very last day, our last breakfast, actually our last meal in general from all the meals that I brought, and that is waffles and sausage. I'm using the last of the sausage here, and then I'll end up throwing that package away. And then the waffles are just so easy to reheat. For these Belgian waffles, I like to do the oven because they're just so big. I do um, cut them in half and heat them up that way. So it was nice. This is actually the perfect breakfast to end on this day because they were very, very fancy waffles, but I also didn't have much to do. I just basically had to reheat the waffles and cook the sausage. So it was really, really nice. And we had some Nutella, some strawberries, and some maple syrup over top. And I do have a waffle recipe. Um, I will link that down in the description box for you too, if you're interested in that. It is one that I've been making for a very long time now. It is a tried and true recipe of mine. Pretty good. I know we didn't play anything. Oh, you want a, want a strawberry? Say strawberry, please. Say thank you. Say thank you. Hmm. In a previous video, it was a vacation meal prep video where I bought all the stuff and I made my waffles. I debated about bringing both baggies of waffles because I like to put the waffles in the freezer bags and I thought maybe just one bag would be enough, but I'm so glad that I ended up bringing both bags with me because my boys had seconds. They loved this so so much i don't ever get to make waffles that often even though i have like a recipe and it's something that i enjoy making i just never get the chance to make them and it's a little bit more tedious but if you make like a big big batch of it and freeze it it's so worth it so i need to start doing that i need to start making bigger batches and just putting in the time to keep these in our freezer guys we have reached the end of this video i really really hope you guys enjoyed this vacation meal idea video it's something i really enjoyed making and hopefully i get to do this again soon for you guys if you guys did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already please definitely subscribe to my channel before you leave i would really really appreciate the support and we will see you in the next video bye guys